Hi, my name's Emily. I work in the Moving Image Archive at the National Library of Scotland. Because of the experiences we've had in recent weeks, um, I find myself thinking quite a lot about food and where it comes from. Maybe you have too. Perhaps if you have some outdoor space, you've begun thinking about growing your own vegetables. Um, one of the simplest vegetables to grow, of course, is the potato. And I've been looking at some films in our collection that uh, tell a little bit about the potato harvest. Today, commercial potato crops are usually gathered by machines. But in the past, the job of lifting potatoes from the soil was done by hand. The Scottish potato harvest once employed thousands of people, known as the Tatty Howkers. The October school holidays were known as the Tatty Holidays, as children were allowed time off school to help gather the potato harvest. This film by John Elder shows how children might experience farm life, including potato lifting. Here the children follow the mechanical potato lifter and place the crop in wire baskets. But on some farms, children were still having to dig up the crop by hand, as can be seen in this film of Ayrshire. After the Second World War, there was a shortage of farm workers, at a time when crop supply was increasing, and extensive recruiting began for secondary school children to assist with gathering the potato harvest. A parliamentary committee was set up in 1949 to investigate the supply of harvest labour. Early on, the committee recommended that child labour would be needed for some years to come. Education authorities, parents and teachers were asked to assist with making this a reality. Come on! Time to get up! We've work to do! During the Second World War and for a time after, animation was frequently used in public information and propaganda films. Animation spoke to the whole public and was an attention-grabbing addition to a cinema programme or newsreel. The Potato Picking Trailer, which we've recently identified as a work by the famous British animation company Hallis and Bachelor, carries with it the legacy of wartime public information films. It is direct with its message and memorable in its apparent simplicity. Let your children help gather the potato harvest. Details from any school. But the war had ended, and people were again looking to the future. Despite the trailer's upbeat ending, there was increasing discontent at the time around the idea of children being removed from school to work. The publication of the Harvest Labour Committee report in 1950 was followed by strong opposition by members of the Educational Institute of Scotland. Teachers felt that children were being left behind because they were missing weeks of education. In 1951, another promotional film, Tatty Howkin, was released by the Scottish Office. The children in this dramatised documentary are seen enjoying themselves being well fed, relaxing with games and forming friendships, as well as earning money for the price of a new bike. The hostel was great though, and my brother says the food was smashing and of course lifting tatties gives you an appetite. And when you get paid too, well it helps when you're saving up for a bike like Ginger. And there was time for games. Boys come from all over Scotland, girls too. So it'll be me following that digger this October and Mum says it'll be fine and peaceful without us. The Department of Agriculture makes it all right with the schools, so if you want to go tatty howking with us, get your mum or dad to agree and ask your teacher. It's clear from the film's narration that this film was made explicitly to ease any reservations by appealing directly to children and to their weary parents. In 1959, the government said 1962 would be the last harvest that would see children let off school. Harvest labour was becoming increasingly mechanised. But children helped gather the harvest during the holidays until the 1980s, and perhaps surprisingly, given the cold and often back-breaking work, 
many have fond memories of doing so.